Hey guys, welcome back to another surf tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to perform one of surfing's key maneuvers, the frontside snap. I'll be going through step by step, showing you multiple camera angles, land, drone, and POV footage to help you get the best understanding of how to perform this maneuver. And I'll be throwing in a skate simulation at the end so you guys can practice out of the water Let's jump right into it. There are three main types of snaps. The first is the minor snap, where you attack the lip at a horizontal angle. These are best to start with. Then you have your stock standard snaps, where you're getting a bit more vertical. These are gonna be the main focus of today's video. And then we have our critical snaps, where we're getting 12 o'clock and releasing the fins. Then there are plenty of other variations of snaps, like the speed snap right here, which just sets you up for sections down the line. Then we have layback snaps, tail slides, and fin throws, but I'll cover all those in separate videos. <laughs> The best type of waves for snaps are steep pockety waves. You can perform these either on the shoulder or on closeouts, and it doesn't matter what conditions it is, whether it's onshore, glassy, you can perform snaps in all kinds of conditions. You don't need a heap of speed when performing snaps. I like about one to two pumps and then straight into a bottom turn, getting compressed, maintaining that speed up into the lip. If you have too much speed, you're gonna lose control. So try and find that sweet spot of about one to two pumps. As we went through before, there's two main types of sections. You can do them off the shoulder or you can do them on closeouts and they can either be crumbly sections or steep sections. As long as you have some type of lip to hit, you'll be able to perform the snap. And if there's an oncoming section that's really barrelly or dumpy, the best thing to do is a lip line re-entry out and in front of the foam so the explosion doesn't knock you off your board. All good top turns start with a quality bottom turn. With frontside snaps, the secret to the bottom turn is making it really deep. The deeper you get, the more vertical you'll be able to get up into the lip. If you're struggling with your bottom turns, what I tell all my students to do is try point your nose to the beach right before you do a bottom turn. What this does is fade your bottom turn to make sure you're getting as deep as possible. This is what it looks like in POV and it's a great habit to get into. It's gonna help your bottom turns dramatically. And the key to every good bottom turn is staying super compressed. This helps you maintain all that speed so you can use it in your top turns. <laughs> To make it super simple, you want to time your snap so your back foot is pushing against the lip. If you time it too late, you're going to get hung up in the lip, and if you time it too early, you're not even going to make a connection with the lip. You should time the snap so you start rotating your body back towards the beach, just as your nose is about to go above the lip. And anywhere in this green section right here is a good amount of steepness to be performing a snap on. So if we look at this POV wave where I do three snaps, you can see this first section I do out on the shoulder there, maybe a little wide, and then the second snap I get really tight in the pocket, and then I pump down the line, I can see down the line that there's gonna be a perfect end section, so I go up. I do hit the section late, but I had all that speed and was able to perform the maneuver. Today's video is sponsored by my online coaching services, where you can send in footage to get a video analysis or jump on a Zoom call with me. You can check it all out at surfingwithnoz.com, otherwise the link will be at the top of the description. And I've made a special promo code just for today's video. Use code NOS20 for 20% off my whole site. Thank you all for the support. Let's jump back into the video. <laughs> So we know what to do leading up to the frontside snap. Now let's break down the technique and see what our body does to perform this maneuver. Starting with your upper body, you wanna be looking at the section you're gonna perform the snap on and loading up your trailing arm behind you. As you start going up the wave face, your trailing arm's gonna come around to your toe side rail and your leading arm's gonna open up back towards the beach. Then your arms will naturally swing above your head, but it's just important to stay centered with your chest over your stringer. With your lower body, you're gonna start extending as you come out of your bottom turn, leaning on your toes to guide your board up the way face. Right here is when your upper body is gonna start rotating back towards the beach. But as we see here, the lower body doesn't start turning towards the beach until the front foot is above the lip. Then all it is from here is putting all your weight on your back foot and pushing into the lip, then transferring the weight back onto the front foot to make sure you stay on the wave and come back down the face. And if it's too steep, put pressure on your back foot to lift the nose of your board up so you don't nosedive. And to make it easy, all you're really trying to do is get your board pointing up towards the lip, 
and then whipping it quickly back towards the beach. And that's all there is to the front side snap. It's so easy to overanalyze, so my advice is to keep it as simple as possible. Now to recap it step by step, pick a good wave with snap potential, have a medium amount of speed, about one to two pumps, get your nose pointing towards the beach, compress in your bottom turn, eye off the section, load up trailing arm, extend lower body as you're going up the wave, start to rotate upper body as the nose of your board goes above lip, push on the back foot, then transfer weight to front foot, bring nose towards beach, compress and stay centered over the board, leaning forward so you make it back on the wave, and boom, you've nailed a front side snap. Now we're gonna take a look at some of the most common mistakes surfers make when performing the front side snap. The first is bad timing. If you go too late, you're gonna get stuck up in the lip. If you go too early, you're not even gonna connect with the lip. Try and find the sweet spot, something like this. The second is not staying centered over your board. This usually happens from a lack of speed or when you get to the section too late. And the last mistake is not rotating your body enough. To fix this, make sure you're loading up your trailing arm and throwing it onto your toe side rail. You may not get lots of opportunity out in the surf, so practicing on a surf skate will help speed up your progression a ton. I ride the 77 Toledo model by Smooth Star. The board is pretty busted up, and it's important to make sure your wheels are worn down, so when you do go for turns, you can actually slide and drift the wheels. Just go find a slope or driveway, something that you feel comfortable on, and then you're just following the steps that I outlined throughout the video. Once you get more comfortable, go to the skate park, practice on some ramps. You're just trying to replicate the movement on land. Let me know if you guys want to see a backside snap tutorial and please let me know if you found this helpful. And that's a wrap guys. So now you know how to do a frontside snap. I really hope you enjoyed this thorough breakdown of it and let me know what tutorial you guys want to see next. I plan to do way more of these videos. And if you did make it to the end, leave a comment saying and just so we can confuse everyone else. And so I know that you made it to the end. Thank you so much. Keep frothing guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah.